Hello everyone, I'm Trucker Al from Rochester, New York, and when I'm not driving, I'm watching Trucker Josh on TJV, and you should too. Be safe out there. Good morning, everybody. We're here near, near Defoe, Saskatchewan. We're on our way up to Fort McMurray. It's time to get going. I'm just gonna reset all my uh, gauges here, like my tripometer and stuff. This guy <laughs> came parked right in front of me. I thought he was gonna back into me at first, but huh, turns out we're all good. Okay, everything's been done already, pre-trip. My lights are on. It's time to get going. We have 1,021 kilometers to drive today yet across Saskatchewan and Alberta, here in Western Canada. I've got a load of steel behind me that I picked up in Evansville, Wisconsin. Interesting wetlands up here. Wow. I don't remember this last time I came up here. It was obviously here, but maybe I came through here at night every other time. So I'm not too sure how long until we get to Saskatoon. I'd like to stop there for a shower. Karen's been giving me a little bit of problems lately. I, I shut her down for the night, right? My GPS. When I turn her on in the morning, I've got to reset her a couple of times so that she'll... Uh, work for me otherwise she freezes I'm hoping that's just like a temporary issue or something just about time to get this windshield cleaned we're in Saskatoon Saskatchewan Saskatchewan gonna grab some fuel here and wash this windshield at least we get to enjoy a clean windshield for a couple of hours until the bugs come out later tonight 100 meters, make a U turn if possible, and then turn right into 150 meters. Oh, it's possible, Karen. It's possible. Believe me, anything's possible. But first, we're gonna grab fuel, if you don't mind. Let's see, I picked this fuel lane. What number is this? I'm surprised they haven't added more pumps onto this thing already. This place is always pretty busy. Flying J is usually pretty quick to uh, add on and expand. Let's see, pump 18, I choose you. Let's fuel her up. Ba -ba. Tell the world that I am fueling, I am also going to do a load check. Okay, whoo-wee. Oh, why are we still idling? Throwing money into the atmosphere. Ah! Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that was good. Oh, that felt good. Oh, right on. Okay. Hey, Diesel. You ready to get some fuel? You ready, buddy? I'm ready. Get some go go juice. Uh, and then uh, next time we'll fuel is in Fort McMurray, I guess, or maybe on the way back. The last time I fueled was in Grand Forks, North Dakota. So we made it quite a ways. I got about a third of a tank left. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I think he's got some issues with his truck. What in the world, man? I think your engine's about to go. I think you might want to take a look at that. Change the vents to uh, recirculate so I don't suck. And he's staying in the left lane, too. He's not even... Dude, man. Oh, that stinks. Oh, that stinks. Oh, it's getting in here anyway. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, man, it's just smoky for like miles behind us from this guy. Oh, there we go. Suddenly it stopped smoking. Oh, he just let off the gas for a bit. Well, in that case, I'm going to air the cab out. Yikes. What in the world is that all about? What do you guys 
think that is? I think it's probably his piston rings are shot and he's getting a whole bunch of blow by. Could be something else, I don't know. Either way, that truck should get into the shop ASAP. Ah, shoot, I just realized there's a bug splat right in front of the camera there. Sorry, you're probably staring at that the whole time. Oh, it's like they aim for it. It's like, they want to off themselves, so they aim directly at my camera. Oh, this guy's turning off the road here. Okay, good. I don't know where you're going, buddy. Hopefully there's a shop down that road for you. Yikes, that stinks. I still gotta air out the cab a bit more now that he's gone. Should've bought a Chevy. Just right sort of behind Walmart in Lloydminster, Alberta. Finally restocked my groceries. I needed to do that for like a month already. It's so expensive when you don't have groceries in the truck to live off the food in either the restaurants or the truck stops. So we're not quite halfway done our day yet. Got a long way to go. Looks like about eh, six hours. Good thing I love driving so much. I don't think I have a stop sign. I stopped anyway, just in case. So we're getting up to that uh, wild wilderness I keep talking about again. We're not quite there, we're just on the edge of it. Just on the edge, we're headed straight north right now towards Fort McMurray, this is Highway 55. And this is the, the massive boreal forest of Canada. It's ginormous. Like I said, if you uh, if you get lost in these woods, there's a very good chance you'll die before you find civilization or find a way out of there. Down here, maybe not. This is still pretty developed. Uh, we're just, like I said, just getting into it. But uh, if you were to go in the wrong direction, I mean, the way we're going right now, you keep going this way, eventually you'll be on the Arctic Tundra. And there's nothing up there. There's a few towns on a few lakes, a few towns, but chances are you won't run into them because the, there's so much empty space. The thing that's kind of cool about that is that, uh, you know, land that, if, if you were to do that, go on like a wildlife trek through the actual wild, not down a hiking trail, but down through the wild. There's a very good chance that the land you'd walk on was, has never been walked on before. Or at least hasn't been walked on in, you know, maybe thousands of years. That's how few people are up there. I don't know, I think about these things. It's so neat to see. I, I hope that we never develop our north. You know? I'd love it to stay undeveloped. I'm not like a big tree hugger environmentalist. The world's about to end global warming nut. But I am uh, conservative in that I want to conserve our uh, natural habitat. Because, I mean, in the U.S., all the wildlife got pushed up here. You know, if we develop all of this natural habitat, where are they going to go? they got nowhere else to go. What's going to happen to them? Well, we got to share it. Share them. I'm sounding like a hippie, right? I, I know. I'm not a hippie. I'm a... Uh, does it even make sense, like a right-wing environmentalist? <laughs> I don't know, I just love, I love the wild up here in Canada. I love the wilderness. It's probably why I have a house out in the bush. It's, it's where I feel at home. It's hard to imagine sometimes when you're around like a big city, like let's pick a big city, like Minneapolis, St. Paul. Let's try that one. Just random city for no reason. It's hard to imagine when you are in the city, in the heart of the city, to imagine that it was once just like this. Wild wilderness. Nobody around, but lots of wildlife and stuff. I don't know, you guys ever think of these things? I think the generations before me, uh, they really, really wanted to expand and expand very quickly and develop everything. And you know, they did a good job of it. They did a really good job of it. 
but there's got to be a point where we say all right let's slow that down let's let's just coast you know and that goes to with everything with our housing market too like what people keep saying oh we need to have constant growth to help the economy we need to have people coming in constantly we need more people more people more people no no we don't need more people we need to coast we need to just stay the same if not maybe go down a little bit the global population definitely needs to go down but all these bu bubbles and stuff, you know, like generations before me had a much easier time buying a house and I was fortunate enough and managed money, right, that we, we ended up getting a nice property, but I want my kids to be able to have that same opportunity, right? The housing markets keep skyrocketing, you know, it's, they're going to need like three million dollars by the time they need to buy a house. Beautiful morning again. It's getting pretty chilly at night. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. It's getting pretty chilly. I had to use my bunk heater two nights in a row now already. So it's the next morning here, and uh, we're just gonna take you guys along to deliver this freight yet, and we'll start tomorrow's video uh, after that. I'm hoping I'll have a reload by then. So far, I still have no reload. There you go, Diesel. I've had her get some fresh morning air, man. No, this way, we're gonna go this, oh, you wanna go to that pole over there, okay. Yeah, so, uh, we're just about an hour south of Fort McMurray at this rest area. This is, uh, I figured it was safer to stop here than go all the way into town. I didn't know if there was parking or not in town. We got here at 10.30. Last night, stopped here for my minimum eight hours, and I'm guessing I'm gonna have to wait a little bit once I get there, so I'll get my extra two hours while I'm waiting there, I'm pretty sure. But I wanna be there early, because uh, they want me there at 8 a.m. and I wanna be there for 7.30. So I'll be there, well, as soon as I can. At least before eight o'clock, I'd like to be there. I know there's like three other drivers that are delivering some steel as well, like, uh, I've got my load here, and I'd like to be the first driver there so that I can get unloaded first. <laughs> Cause I'd really like to go and get my reload even though I don't know what it is yet. I guess we'll see. What do you think, Diesel? Is it gonna be a good day? It's gonna be a fantastic day, man. Shake off the sleepies. Stare off into the great wilderness. It's gonna be a great day, man. Great day. Can you smell that? Can you smell that? It smells like a good day. So this load isn't actually that heavy, but uh, you know, we're not light either. Got my tarps in the back there. I'm not sure what I'm going to be reloading yet. So uh, might need those. Never know. Listen to this. Listen to this. It's a beautiful sound. Diesel, listen to this. That is what I live for. 
That was beautiful, wasn't it? It's a beautiful song in the morning, man. I agree. I know you do, Diesel. You love the road as much as I do. Find something there? No? Let's go, bud. Come on, I want to deliver this stuff. It's weighing me down. I don't want it anymore. Oh, here comes another one. One more, one more, one more. Beautiful. Let's go make some songs ourselves. Let's get these wheels turning. So you're gonna have to excuse the bugs again. Like every other day. <laughs> so yeah, I figured I'd continue this uh, video the next day just a little bit for you guys just to uh, get to the delivery point at least. I can mount you guys there. There you go. Oh. Pre-trip's done. Oh. Everything's good to go. Just letting my engine warm up a little bit because it's a little bit chilly. It's kind of nice. I didn't have to idle my truck through the night, you know? If it's a little too hot, then you need the air conditioning. If it's a little too cold, well, then I have a bunk heater. I don't have to idle the truck in winter. Except when it gets really, really cold. My next truck, like I was telling you guys, the, the W900 that I would like, definitely, definitely want to uh, have an APU on it. This truck didn't come with an APU, and those things are like $12,000, so uh, it's a big chunk to bite off. I'll just make sure that it's on my new truck. Until then, I'll just, I'll just cope, just deal with it. Right up here is the staging area where I'm going to, uh... In 600 meters, your destination will be on the right. Perfect. So I'm supposed to give them a call from here and they're going to escort me into the site. We're going to continue that on tomorrow's vlog. For now, we're just going to see if we can get in here. And I've never actually been to this staging area. I don't think. I get in there oh no wait I gotta go straight okay no got a red light here that's the staging area over there just off to the right but my light is red got to get all dressed up my Sunday best you're gonna have to tune in tomorrow to see how this goes there's uh at least two other drivers here delivering the same stuff I am. So I don't know if they're gonna lead us all in, unload us all at the same time or one at a time, I don't know yet. But again, you're gonna have to tune in tomorrow to find out. It'll be a good day. Nobody has a reload yet. So uh, at least I'm not the only one not knowing what's going on after this. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, if you're new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. We make a new video pretty much every day as we travel across all of Canada and the United States. Sometimes we have vlogs from at home. You never know what's going to happen. It's, a, it's an adventure. So we'd love to have you as part of our channel here. Hit that subscribe button, that little bell button, so you know when I release a new video. And YouTube doesn't like to recommend people's videos very much anymore. So if you think other people should see my videos, you can go ahead and share them if you like. Talk to you tomorrow. My name is Leander Fair. I'm from Asuncion, Paraguay, South America, and you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs with Diesel.